who lived here. So I know it doesn't look like much, but what's right behind me is what we call a cellar hole, basically the foundation of an old house. As you can see, I'm in the middle of the woods. The history of forests and the place that we now call New England and really much of the Eastern United States is this story of this incredible wave of land clearing that happened in the 1800s. What I tell people is that pretty much every forest you've ever been in was cleared in the 1800s and many of them maintained as agricultural land for a century or more after that. So when we encounter these cellar holes or stone walls or farm implements in the woods, it's always just this little curiosity where we're like, oh yeah, this used to be a pasture. One thing that I like to remind people is that this isn't like something that happened just for a moment in time. You know, the land got cleared and then it grew right back and everything was fine. This land was cleared for a long time. And one thing that really makes me think about it is when I find a cellar hole like this and I remember that this was a home for a family maybe for five, six, seven generations. And that there were generations of people that all that their parents and their grandparents and their great grandparents and their great great grandparents knew was this land as a world of orchards and hay fields and cropland and pastures and a house right here that had been there for as long as anyone could remember. So the next time you encounter a cellar hole or stone wall in the woods, think about that. That that's a legacy of not just some brief ephemeral moment in time, but what was the reality for this landscape for a century or more. And the fact that we have any forest here at all is an absolute miracle.